Hey traders, good morning. Uh, I apologize, I didn't get a chance to catch market close, but it looked like it was pretty uneventful as well. <clears throat> uh, apologies for the voices while my throat's a little bit sore, but it's not too bad. And also, people are sleeping, so try to wake them up on a Saturday morning with me talking. See, Nat, did you offer a dip buy opportunity? It didn't really. Yeah, I guess you could have sort of gone in here, but you know, you'd be thinking resistance, so that's not really a good trade. So I'm going to say no. Uh, DLT, that's sort of faded out as well, pretty significantly. Well, I mean, if you have the patience to hold, I was a little bit of a dip by there from, you know, for broke out yeah I mean there's some there I mean, MGTI uh, interesting CPHI flat uh, I did do a live training video as well that that was put up a couple videos ago from last night for me it's last night so it's actually mm. um, quarter past five in the morning and just having a few troubles opening up stocks to trade and I got a question as well about the additional fee for running level 2 I haven't done an update I'm assuming it's auto update where it will prompt you and you'll just do it before opening so I'll see with my next payment if it's $30 extra so that would bring it up to a US dollar probably like um, well, that would be two hundred and nine dollars a month, so that would be like two seventy Australian. Which, yeah, yeah, that's the situation. Also, from next week, I'll be getting a Christmas bonus, so I'll be just shopping around to see, um, you know, brokers. Uh, short trader, I'm hearing some pretty bad views. I can't use my credit card. I tried doing that before Commonwealth Bank refused that. And I called them up and said, hey, and they said, no, we can't because it's uh, where it is in the world. Um, yeah, that's like a security risk. So they're like, no, no, Scott. Um, I'll tr well, fuck, do I want to try a wire transfer? I mean, I looked in the wire transfer. I just didn't have enough money because they wanted it from you you'd pay it and it would be converted to euros for some reason and I'm like okay um, so 500 of the Australian dollars to get it to 500 euros was going to be like I don't know what it was going to be like 800 plus dollars and I just didn't have enough and I'm like you know what the hell what is that about so because the euro exchange rate to the Aussie is worse than the uh, USD so <clears throat> well, um, there's also a couple other options I won't be able to uh, get done straight away, which will be like US brokers. There's one more flexible than interactive brokers as well um, that are based in the US. But uh, anyway, guys, that's the update. I didn't take any trades uh, this week. And I'll, I mean, let's just bring that up. Um, I don't think I did. Uh, trade. Sorry if it appears that I look a little bit tired. I am, but that's the life you you live as, as a trader. I just, I just want to open up the trade journal. I just can't remember if I did or didn't take a trade. I don't believe so. I made a little bit of money on the Aussie yen. That was a nice trend trade there. That was... Mm. Look, I, I don't believe I did because Monday was New Year's Day, Tuesday I didn't. I think I missed a dip buy on LANU. Wednesday, no, I didn't. I went to bed at like 10 o'clock. Uh, Thursday, there were no trades. I think I went to bed at like 10.30. Saw the, saw the open, like five minutes, 10 minutes in the open. There was nothing there for me. And then Friday... 
uh, I didn't as well. But anyway, guys, I'm going to conclude the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. Study hard. And bye for now.